Book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 12. Bring it out. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. How, how many? All oh. bow down to the slaughter. Now, 60 of them. All bow down. 99.9% .9 of All bow down to the slaughter. Keep reading. Because when I called you, what you did do? not answer. What? And when I spake, you did not hear. What? But did evil in my eyes, and did choose delight, and choose that wherein I delighted not. So all of you not keeping the Sabbath, still eating swine, wearing a strange Bring apparel, it out. Bring it out. all this stuff you're going to be destroyed for a lack of knowledge and understanding. Bring it out. I'm trying to give you the knowledge back. You need to understand your own culture. We're the only people on earth that don't follow their own culture. That's right. 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 Bring it out, huh? Our culture is the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High God, Yahweh, gave to the children of Israel. That's right. right. And you should be following. You should be thanking the Most High you're still alive today. Children of Israel are the only people who have mercy on them. That's right. That's right. Give me Isaiah 45 and 17. And for all of you that think that uh, 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 John 316 is going to uh, uh, be for everybody, well, here's your cut. Ha! Your cut. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. Bring it out. But Israel. But who? Israel. Who? Israel. Who? Israel. Who? Israel. Shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. With what? Shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting, everlasting. salvation. Ye Man. shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. And world means this people. This people does not have an end. Somebody give me the precept with uh, 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 Esau at the uh, end of this world. Because all of you need to understand that you're a special people above all people. You're not like everybody else. You're different. You see it every single day. Who's the best athlete? The best musician? The best anything is us. That's sick. That's sick. Second Andrew. Good. Second Andrew. Six. I got it. What kind of gut? Bring it out. I can't say no more. Second Andrew, chapter six, verse nine. Bring it out. For Esau is the end of the world. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, bro. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So we don't have an end. You two thirds. You're gonna have an end. But for that hopefully lack and that one third, there is no end for you. You have to turn back to the Most High's laws or you're gonna be killed. The Most High is not playing. He's not coming back. He's not sending his son back to uh, come down and hug you and you've been in sin all this time. He's not coming back to do that. He's coming back with a vengeance. So, when it comes down to it, you need to be seeking the most high instead of the world. Correct. Bring out Revelation 18 and start at verse 4. Brother, did you know it was a sin to walk in drunkenness? Yeah. Okay then. So that means you don't need to be drinking before, you know what I'm saying, a certain reasonable hour and just drink modestly. That way you can walk around with a sober mind. Right. So you can see and acknowledge the things that you've been doing that's been wrong. You know what I'm saying? Hey, God said, I got real trouble going through my brother. It's like, okay, my, I'm I'm tell you my situation. My black people say me like a brother. My brother is like this. I'm telling y'all what I'm saying. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all what I'm saying. 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 I'm telling y'all I ain't trying to make y'all mad about this way. Uh, sometimes we had my family have had struggles. We all we all, all struggle. Sometimes I had a good mistake. I thought it was cold. Have me been a black man like one of y'all? Respect your heritage, the color. That the color black is just just the color. Okay, go ahead. 
Uh, police and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Y'all already know that. Okay. I cannot uh, explain to my mother even if she was somebody about to rape me. This is the book uh, of Deuteronomy, 28, verse 15. Listen to this, bro. Man. Check this out, bro. Hold, hold on, hold on, bro. Listen to this. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken, if thou would not listen unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and do all his commandments and statutes, which I command thee this day, and one of them is keeping the Sabbath, that all these curses shall come upon thee, and overtake thee. How many curses? All yeah. these curses. So, Deuteronomy 28 explains that when we keep the commandments, the first 14 verses they explain that. Back, we want that back. Exactly. Right. So, what do you think is going to happen when you don't keep the commandments? Like, when you don't keep the Sabbath? Yeah, that back. Exactly. So, that like, what, do you, what, do you think, like, what do you think you need to do to change your situation? I see my brothers mad, uh, my sister mad, you know what I'm saying? Let them know, man. Hey, hey, God, I'm keep God for a long time. But I'm gonna keep God first. But hey, one thing about it, I'm gonna let you know this part. Man, you got to keep these laws, statutes, and hey, commandments, man. You're gonna get right to the meat. First job, five and If you eat up a soda pop, or you get something to eat, you gotta Bro. pray to God for what He gave you. If you pop yeah, a bill, can you ask this? Yeah, go God for you. Brother, look, this is what we look. This, just listen to us real quick, all right? We're trying to tell you what you need to do to keep God first. And to keep God first, you got to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. This is the book of John. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of the Most High God. Listen, brother. For this is the love of the Most High God that we keep His commandments and His command. Uh, Commandments are not grievous. Meaning the law, statute, commandments of the Most High God, Yahweh, are not, they not hard at all. Not, hell, not a burden, right? So a burden. the burdens we have on us is the same as everybody else. And that's because we wasn't keeping the laws. But when we started keeping the laws, then we started receiving blessings from the Most High. See, you can't be brought out of the dunghill. The Most High ain't gonna bring you out of the dunghill and, and you ain't keeping the laws. Yeah. So you have to take heed to his word first. That's right. And that starts with slowing down your drinking. Why did somebody give me Ecclesiastes 38? Right, my brother, I love y'all so much. He just said, anything you eat or drink, hey, we well, got to put God what? first. We, we, we trying to feel you with this you gotta scripture. You got to have it in your heart, bro. Oh yeah, we, we got to put heart, this bro. in your scripture. Ecclesiastes in your, in your spirit. spirit. 38 and let me get, uh, let me get, uh, First John two and three. Right, let me read this to you right man. quick. Check okay, this out. Bring it out. Huh? God for what I eat. Check this out, bro. It says, and hereby we do know that we know Him. You, you know God, right? Yeah. We we supposed to know God. We all say that. Now look, it says hereby that we know that we know Him. Yeah, right. If we right. keep His commandments, we got to come back and keep keeping His commandments. That's why we're in our situation because we said we didn't want to keep it. And guess right. what he did? He put us in this punishment. Right now, where you at right now, where you standing at right now is the reason why. Because we, we went against it. We didn't want to keep his commandments. And then it says this in verse 4. It says, He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. Yeah. And the truth yeah. is not in him. Yeah. So we got to keep these commandments. That's how we know the most high. Yeah. That's how you show him that you love him. Well, you tell God you hungry. Verse 27. Anyway, you gotta do that. Like, if I pop a beer, before I do that, I put his knife before I drink that beer in my ass. You know what I'm saying? Game. I love it. 
And I tell him, I'm still on respect. You know what I'm saying? I'm all good. All right, and now. I'm going to have to get you over here next Saturday, bro. But I'm always going to. Pope! I'm going to die. You know what I mean? And all that money, we read. Yeah, bro. Truck. But that is real fit. Man, we out here preaching the most out there. Yeah, you got that Solomon grill. Yeah, you, know, you, <laughs> you know I know you know. All right? When you get time, bro, you come and see her. We out here every Saturday. All right? All right? You want the same the same path, bro, so you already know. And you know I know you know. You doing the right thing, man. Zoom in and zoom out. This is a real donation. I got to bring this down a little bit? Yeah, that's good. My this, this is the uh -huh. book of right now, off the top. I ain't playing with this head. Right. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 31, verse 17. And it's reading. Leave off first. 31 and 17. I said I got kids. Oh. I got a hundred dollar check right now. Down at the bottom. Bro. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, verse 27. Okay, correction. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, so when, when it come to having a, uh, when it come to this word, brother, you have, you have to have a sober mind. Which means you have to be disciplined in your mind to come to it, right? Right, right. So right. to understand this, you have to come uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in a manner of, of knowing that you're in the right mind, the right state of mind. You don't want to be in the altered state of mind because it, it'll defer your learning. Right? And this is, why, this is why I said that uh, you got to be sober and not drink so much. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, verse 31 and 27. Wine, wine, the book of Ecclesiastes is 31 and 27. Wine is as good as life to a man. So hold on. Wine is here. I thought it's good to us. It's good to us, right? It's, it's okay. good as life. Exactly. Well, well, hold on, hold on. Well, I, I got, I got to see. If it be drunk moderately. <laughs> if it be drunk moderately. Yep. Moderate, you have to drink moderately. Meaning yeah. you can't drink to your to your uh, uh, pleasure. You have yeah. to drink right, modestly. Right, so, right. And then there's a purpose for that. Well, hold on, watch this. Watch this. What life is there to a man that is without wine? For oh, it yeah. was made to make men glad. It was made to make men glad. It was made right? for to make men glad. That's why you drink it modest, right? You drink it light, right? Keep going. Wine measurably drunk and in season bringeth gladness of the heart and cheerfulness of the mind. That's why you drink it modest. That's why you drink it modest, right? Drink it modest, right? right? But when you drink it in a negative way, I ain't want no. Oh, well, you got to know, bro. We can't give you half know. for it and not give you the whole meat. Verse 29. But wine drunkenness with excess maketh bitterness of the mind, Bitterness. which brawling with brawling with brawling and quarreling. Man, and that's why when we get drunk and we act up and cut up and ah, yeah. oh, this Always and a that, that, that. fight. That's what the Most High God don't want you to do, brother. Right, you're right, bro. So, but, but keep reading. Drunkenness increases the rage of a fool till he offended. And what else? It diminishes strength and maketh wounds. So that's why you got your drunk in your drive and you got people getting drunk, getting beat up out here. How you gonna get drunk and then try to fight somebody? You wanna be sober to knock them out? I got you a know question. what I mean? I got a question. How do you think God would be if he was talking to you and you're drunk? See what I'm saying? He'll send you, you know, away. You just man. even just thinking about it, money. he's looking at you and you sitting up here just throwing. So I was just, you know what I'm saying? I just got back from school. You know what I'm talking about? I've been from everywhere. It was, you know what I'm saying? It's just hard for me to explain myself. But it's hard for you because we just read it. You got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. And what he said yeah, was... You got to spend that shit at the end of the day, though. Yeah, but you got to keep the law. Oh, you know, church, I do it all the you gotta, time. You got to come out of your, your, your drunken it's state and, yeah, and yeah, become a new preacher. How you, How you right become there. a new preacher? I, you gotta keep the law. I yeah, know that, but do right you keep the laws every day? Man, See what I'm saying? I told you I found this kind of this place. God came and told me. I bought this place. What's my part one? I got you, boy. Oh, sick. 
Every time you put one in the church, you get another hundred check. Get get on to him. Get what I do. Well, what we just said about spending your check on the church. Oh, good. Oh, it's already here. Yeah, already here. I promise. I got a red nest. Yeah, wait. But I probably got. See, I heard my belly. The scriptures are supposed to cut you. That means, that, that, means that, that you know your spirit know that it's doing uh, wrong. Give me spare or not. Give me the bread. That's my spirit, bro. What's the scripture? I'm going I'm to I'm show you why. I'm going to show you why you're okay. The word perverts the people who, right don't, who don't follow the scriptures. It cuts you. That's why I call it a sword. I'm going to defy that line. That's why they call it a sword. Give me the queen. I'm going to defy this Bring it out. Good to you are, bro. We go over here teaching our brothers to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Where y'all be at? Be right here. Be right here. They already put us in shop. the church. You know what I'm saying? This, this, we just showing you this who you are. This is where we were once was. But we still at that lowest state. Now you keep your money. Yeah, what yeah, yeah, it says, check this out. Isaiah, watch this, watch this. Isaiah 58 and 1, it says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression. There's a lot of other brothers that's so I can't spare you on what you think and what you feel. I have to tell you that God said that they're going to die. We only hear it warn you, and this is where you mess it up. This is how you're going to get right, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're trying to do, we're trying to get right. We're trying to make it, hey. We're trying to make it, man. We're trying to die when he comes. He ain't playing. He ain't playing, bro. That's why we out here. Yeah, we're, trying we're, to, we're trying to we're trying to like okay, save your life on the other side. Remember this. Now come back. Go on, go on, go on. Get in there, get in there. Camera, go ahead, go ahead. We're going to think about us brothers standing out here. Get in there. Because we're trying to tell folks they need to wake up and realize what's going on so they can change their life. Yeah, I know we're waiting to realize all the brutality and families and all that. All that. Well, yeah, how we supposed to change this? Follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. That means stop what, eating. The Ten Commandments, the Old Commandments. Well, all, all of them. And those are the ones that you know, the dietary laws. Stop eating pork. You got to stop doing that. On the Sabbath, which is today, we got to stop buying food, shopping. We got to come, we got to come out and start worshiping. Like, we go to church on Sunday. That's a law that the white man gave you. Come to find out. What you're supposed to go on the He's but everything ain't gonna be right unless you come back to these laws and statutes and commandments. If not, you're gonna be numbered to the sword with Esau and all these other folks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I see that. I don't want to be done. I know. I hear what he said. I can't breathe. She is. You think I'm. I got a son. I'm black. That's just fuck you. You're right. But I'll, now, but I know the motherfucker out here called me nigga. Oh, nigga. Oh, they don't even want to say nigga. They say I'm a nigga. You're right. But these are curses that's coming. These are curses, brothers, that are coming upon us because we're not following God's commandment. We're in the book so with. So we need you. Union, union in the most high. Without the most high, we ain't got nothing, brother. We know that. You heard a bad prayer. Yeah. Hey, everybody trying to get to the top. Yeah. I'm trying to bring that. All right, then. So that's the same thing, motherfucker. But see, them brothers, they ain't following. They ain't following. They don't believe in God. Because if they did, they would have a heart and compassion to not be a crab in the butt. That's right. But in order to do that, you have to turn from your own ways and follow where right, man. So that's what we out here doing. We out here every Sabbath trying to wake our brothers to look. Hey, keep Come out here and see us anytime. We always here, all right? All right, then. Hey, bless y'all. Y'all be good. All right. Be blessed, brother. Thank you. Oh, I want you to get your money, your, your money, American and burn, right? What's that? I want you to get that for a man. What's that? 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 Red, red birds love red. I gotta go back to the front. You know what I'm saying? Everybody with their own thing. Right. I got us going out and loving them. 
we so mixed up in this. We so mixed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they keep on killing us too. Right? Yeah, we're not going to go out there. We march, we'll buy some shoes and march it out there. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. When's going to change? When we realize that we are not just that. I'm sorry, Brad. I was just chilling out. I was just chilling out. I was like, where is that? I know you heard, you probably heard that. He said, the nation. It'll be a life to the nation. Y'all get that right. Right here. Go get yourself Let me show you this. Brother, and if you can bring out Deuteronomy, hey, uh, big up. Joseph, big up. Can you bring out Deuteronomy 2 weeks? I'm going to show you this real quick. We came up with that free. Is it in the problem, bro? I had a seven I'm going to show you something. You're going to learn today. 2020, you're going to learn today. 2020. Let's bring it out. How we came over here on Slate? Is it in the Bible? Yeah. Bring it out. We're going to bring it out. Yeah, right here. Actually, if you want to show it. So you can read them all. Doing around 2868, showing them how to slave ship, how we came up here. This is the book of Deuteronomy 2868. Right out. And the Lord shall bring you into Egypt. Egypt is synonymous with bondage or slave. The word bondage. Again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. By the way thereof I spoke unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there shall be get in there, get in there. <laughs> unto your enemies for bond men and slave bond man men. and slave woman, and no man shall bite you. Check now, this who out. Who is that? That's us out. out. Yeah. Who is this? Yeah. That's 23. Us yeah, yoke sign on our necks. Uh -huh. That's us. Uh -huh. So look, yeah. who was getting sold? I That's you. Go to 32 right quick. 32 uh -huh. and 48, and then we'll be done. I'm going to show you two more things that happen exactly. It's as What happened to us? Exactly. 48. Him, 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 and him, and me. That's Jesus. That guy. 48. 48, uh, yeah, 32 and 48. That's the uh, only two. Yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 48. Now, what they read in here in Deuteronomy 28 from 15 to 68 is all the curses. These are all the curses that happen. You gotta read this. Remember this. Take a picture if you got your phone. Go read this in the Bible. They'll never read you this in no church. So these are all the curses right here. If we did disobey God, He said this is gonna happen. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. 28 and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Get your food there. God said, I'm sending your enemies against you. If you don't want to listen to me, I'm going to send your enemies against you. You go out and go get your food and hunger and then thirst, your water and in nakedness, your clothes. And then want of all things. You want to wipe your butt? You got to go buy some toilet tissue? You go into the stove. You don't own that. You got to go to your enemies. Go ahead. And he shall oh, put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who had yokes of iron on their neck? You can Google that right now. You're going to see this. this. That's you. That's us. That's our people. We had yokes of iron on our neck. Until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed thee. We ain't got yokes of iron on our neck, but if I asked you who you are, what's your nationality? You'll say black. We ain't the color of our hair. We ain't even black. We brown. So why are we calling ourselves blacks? You know? I got a precept for that right now. Come, come. This is verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Same a, curses. A, a proverb. A proverb is and a, a wise by word. A wise saying. All nations, whether the Lord shall lead. Now we niggas everywhere. In China, you know, nigga in uh, Africa, you a nigga no matter where you go. The yeah, Bible was talking about us. Don't make show them 30. Come so sister. Come here to work. You got friends on and don't even know it. Hey, I'm shocked. Yeah, I'm saying that. Yeah, friends on the the last one right here. 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Come on, two men. And thine eyes shall look and, and fail with longing for them. All the day long. All the day long. Check this and there who shall be no might in thy hand. Whose sons and daughters was saying. given to another people? They came over here on ships. Slave. They sons and well, they had to go to the enemy for everybody. Mm -hmm. And then it said they sons and daughters was going to be given to another people, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. now, let me show you one more thing. One more thing, and I'm done. Jeremiah 17 and 4. This is how we've been destroyed as a nation of people. We are destroyed, and to come to find out, we're the good guys in the Bible. This is a whole movie script. This is a book of Jeremiah. 
chapter 17 and verse 4. Bring it out. And Ow. they, and those so like, and those eating. Stop sitting in church sometime, mama. You gotta go back to work. Hey, I'm, I'm so down like, with Bring it out. And though even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage. Who has been discontinued from their heritage? What is your heritage? That I gave thee. What, Chinese people, they worship Buddha, right? right. They got their heritage. Japanese people, even white people, they can go all the way back. Might be from Scotland or, you know, England or, you know, they can go all the way back. Germany, right? Right, right? right. 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 Where we go back to? Here to church, man. What part? Where, where we at? Where we at? I don't know what part of Africa. We just from Africa. Right. No, no, no. He said you're going to be discontinued from your heritage. Go ahead. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy you didn't want to in to the me? land you. which thou knowest not. In the land that you don't even know, you're going to serve your enemies. How we get over here? We just got no, to no, sir. On ships? You getting it? The whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation is talking about us the whole time. Right. That's why they wouldn't let us read. In, uh, in slavery, they, if you picked up the book, they killed you. Yeah. They picked up, especially this book. Read, yeah. yeah, especially they, this they book. They didn't want me to learn how to read. Mm -mm. So like, That's why they stripped us down naked, too. Right, why? Because right. you have a dress code. Right. Guess what our dress code is? What you see these brothers got on. And the sisters got on. Because we realize who we are, we coming back to who we are. Right. Especially in these last days. Because right now, these last days, you see that? It's going oh, yeah. down. It's going it's down. Appreciate the knowledge, man. Hey, come hey, back. Man. Come back. Hey, time. Time. We, we, I see y'all here. I'm going to stop talking. Yeah, we have every Saturday. Saturday, brother. Every I'm, all, Saturday. I'm all for it, man. Oh, yeah. All Saturday, every Saturday. Saturday. I am holding your word, too. Thank you for stopping, man. brother. All right. Y'all right. All right. Number one, man. Hey, so now. You just walked up there. She did. She did. She did. She did. I have faith, but, man, I ain't got nothing good for it. Yeah, bring it out. Uh, what was the last thing you brought out to uh, your brother right here? Hey, can you stand on this side? Yes, sir. Cool, cool. Uh, but, uh, last thing I brought out was that... Uh, no, nah, I was bringing out. I was on Jeremiah when we were talking to the brother to showing him how he got here. Got him. And that was Jeremiah 17, 4. That was the last scripture we brought out. What are talking about this brother? Just in general. Well, so, uh, what was that when we shoot? I ain't got to... Swing that camera around, please. Uh, I think they're gonna come over. The cop. The cop.